Hi, this is Patrick from SDH. Today we're going to show how to remotely reset a Windows Server 2012 R2 password. Okay, here's the setup. You have logged into your machine, but you forgot the administrator password. You start getting really upset. You're trying to figure out what to do, but you don't have access to the machine. So we're logged in via IPMI here. What we're going to do is load a Windows Server 2012 R2 um, ISO, so installation media, and we're going to mount that via IPMI. Now we need to reset the machine. Because this is just a test machine, we're just going to use the simple uh, set power reset button on IPMI. And now you're going to see the Supermicro server reboot. And this sometimes can take a while. And what we're going to want to do is now boot from our installation media. Okay, at this point on the Supermicro system, you're going to hit F11 to invoke the boot menu. And then after a second or two, you're going to end up with a boot menu uh, option. Here you're going to go to the virtual CD-ROM so we can boot off of our installation media. Hit any key to boot from the CD or DVD, which is really our remotely mounted ISO. This is going to take a little bit, so we cut some time out to save everyone a few seconds. Now you're going to see Windows boot up, and this is of course booting off of the ISO. And now we select our language, and then here instead of hitting install, you're going to hit repair your computer, because we need to get to the troubleshooting tools. Now we go to troubleshoot here. And then we want to get the command prompt. This gives us an administrator command prompt. Now, normally we'll see the C volume being our boot volume where all our Windows files are. So we're going to check that out real quick. And what we found is that that's actually not the drive that uh, we have our installation or Windows files on. So what we're going to do instead is look at D and we find our Windows installation files there. Okay, now here's the fun part. What we're going to do is copy the setHC.exe file to a backup file. And then what we're going to do is replace it with the command.exe uh, file. And this is all in our Windows System 32 folder. So you're going to see copy command, see the path, we'll put that in the notes. And so copy is always, you know, copy source file to destination file. And we just gave this, uh, you know, a dash old uh, extension. You can use something else, but you just don't want it to say set hc.exe as the new file name. So you're going to see that copied. Now we have to go move our command.exe file to replace the old set hc.exe. and we want to confirm the overwrite, so we'll say yes. Okay, now it's time to reboot the server. Uh, and we're going to start seeing some magic. Here we're going to let the server boot off of its normal boot drive instead of booting off of the uh, ISO that we mounted remotely. we're at the Windows login screen, the trick that we're going to use is to hit shift five times. And see, that uh, brought up a administrator uh, command line. 
And we're gonna close that real quick because if you are having issues, uh, what you wanna do is use a virtual keyboard. We'll drag that over and then uh, you may have to click this more than five times, but you just need to get five shift key presses. And what we're gonna do now is we will change the administrator password. We use a really fancy password called new password one, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna try seeing if this uh, new password works. So we're gonna hit control alt delete using macro, type in new password one, two, three, and we're in. So this is absolutely awesome. Uh, there are a couple things that you need to do now. So the first thing that you'll definitely wanna do is to change your administrator password immediately because you don't wanna use something weak like a new password one, two, three. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go to the control panel and, and actually go reset that password. And while this is happening, one of the other bits that you probably will want to do is you will want to um, copy back your setHC.exe. So your old backup file, you're gonna wanna um, you know, replace the current setHC.exe with that backup file. We will put it in the notes, but basically the command that you're gonna use is the reverse of the first copy command uh, that you issued last time. And so uh, that's just a little bit of housekeeping that you may need to do. But thanks for watching with us and see you next video.